Welcome to this video about using Podman to run containers in Oracle Linux. Containers are running instances of images. An image is a non-changeable file containing a minimal operating system, libraries, source code, tools, and other files needed to run applications. A container is the virtualized runtime instance of an image. Each container uses an image as its starting point and then loads into runtime by using the parameters that are provided when it's created or run. We can create a container based on an image downloaded to local storage, or it will be pulled from the container registry and used when the container is created. To learn about searching container registries and pulling images to local storage, you can find more about each of these topics in these other available free videos. Search container registries with Podman and Oracle Linux, and pull images with Podman and Oracle Linux. And to read more about creating and running containers, check out the documentation at this link in the Managing Containers section of the chapter Working with Images, Containers and Pods. So let's look at running some containers. In preparation, I have already downloaded a number of images to our local storage. To view downloaded images, we use the command podman images. We have four Oracle Slim images and a general test image for podman called hello. Let's create a container using the Oracle Linux image with the tag 8-slim giving it the name My Oracle 8 and identifying the image to use with its image ID. The image ID can be the full ID from the image list or enough of it reading from left to right to uniquely identify it from the others. We use the command podman create dash dash name My Oracle 8 dash IT and for this first time the full ID value from the image ID column. The option dash I will keep the standard input open and make the container interactive. The T will open a sudo tty to allow commands to be run to it. In these Oracle Linux images, the bash shell is run by default, so there's no need to add it to the command. And now we use the command podman ps to list any running containers. No containers are listed as this command only shows running containers. Creating a container does not automatically raise its state to running unless you use a specific command option, which we'll see later. So let's list all containers regardless of their status with the dash a option. The unique container ID is listed in the first column of the output. A new value is used each time a container is created, even if you are creating the same container again. Note that these IDs are different values to the ones used for image IDs. The status column for the new container shows it's created, but not up, so it's not currently running. The names column shows the name you assigned were to the container when it was built. If we don't assign a name, a random name will be assigned, as you can see for the hello container which was created before the start of this demonstration. Let's try to create the container again with the same name. The error states that the name is already used. We can create and run multiple containers from the same image, but each container must have a unique name. As the My Oracle 8 container is only created, it is not up and running. We start the container with the command podman start, this time using the partial container ID to identify the container being started. Remember to take care not to accidentally use the image ID by mistake. The image and container IDs are not related to each other. We can examine the status of all containers with the command podman ps. We're able to just use podman ps because the container is running. We see the status is up. Let's create another container called my second ol8, but this time using the run command. Again using the Oracle Linux 8-slim image ID. This will create the container, but the command also starts it. We use the command podman run dash dash name my second ol8 dash it dd26. When it starts, it places us at a shell prompt in the running container. The running container provides an interactive bash shell prompt based on the command passed during its creation. To interact with the container, we can show the Oracle Linux version used in the container with the command cat slash etc slash oracle dash release and can also run the commands who am I and you name dash a. We exit out of the container with the command exit. Exiting causes the container to stop, but it's not deleted and can be started again. We check the status of the container. As the container is stopped by exiting, we must use the command podman ps dash a. The created column shows when the container was built and status shows the time since it was stopped and its state identified as exited. Now let's stop the still running my Oracle 8 container with the command podman stop my Oracle 8 and verify again the state of the container. 
This time, let's start the same container without opening a shell prompt on it by using the command podman start my oracle 8. We verify it's been started. The status column shows up and for how long the container has been up when the command was run. When it's started, we can attach to the container to access its running shell prompt with the command podman attach my oracle 8. Let's exit again from the container and verify that using exit has also resulted in the container being stopped. Now let's start the container again, but with the same command also access its shell. We use the command podman start dash dash attach my oracle 8. This time we exit the container without stopping it by pressing control P then control Q. And checking the status verifies it's still up and running. Now let's pause the my oracle 8 container. Pausing a container temporarily halts its operations and freezes all the running processes inside the container in their current state. However, shutting down and restarting the host system running the paused container will not preserve the state of those processes. You can pause and unpause only while the host system remains running. We use the command podman pause my oracle 8. Like many commands, you can pause multiple containers with the same command by listing each separated by a space, or even all containers by using the dash a option. We verify the container status is paused. To resume the pause container, we use the command podman unpause my oracle 8 and check its status again. We can execute a command in a running container without the need to open its shell prompt. Let's do this for the running my oracle 8 container with the command podman exec my oracle 8 cat forward slash etc forward slash oracle dash release. Let's practice the command again. First view the containers available, then use the command podman exec using the partial container ID instead of its name. As with many commands, the commands to start, stop, pause, unpause containers also work with multiple containers. First, we list the images again. And now we create a third container with the Oracle Linux 9-slim tagged image. Let's list all the containers again. Now we can start the my second OL8 and the my Oracle 9 containers with the command podman start and separate the container names or IDs with a space and verify both containers are now started. So that's some practice at some of the commands used to create, run, and interact with containers using Podman. These commands support a lot more options which are worth investigating. If you have the time, there's even a free, real, hands-on lab environment where you can practice these and many more Podman commands. You can find that at this link. That's the end of this video. Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can use to learn about this subject and others. Use the links here to find more content about this video, as well as Oracle Linux and using Linux on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Thanks for watching.